Welcome back to a new video lecture and here we discuss a new problem related with the collapse load. So determine the collapse load in the fixed beam shown in the figure in which the plastic moment capacity is given as 2 mp in one half and mp in the other half. So in the given question it is mentioned that a fixed beam is provided and the plastic moment value is changing that is the for the first half it the value it is going to be 2 mp and the second half it is going to be mp. And a load W is acting at a distance of L by 3 from the support A. So that's the case or that's the given conditions provided in this particular question. So in this case also there will be two mechanisms which we need to calculate. So you can provide the plastic hinge at this fixed supports that is both the support A and B. Then the first case you can analyze at the, at the under the load W. Okay, so if you analyze, you will get the diagram in this way. So that is at the support, it is going to be 2 MP and the support or under the load, it is going to be 2 MP since the value for the first half, it is going to be 2 MP and at the support B, it is going to be MP and the angles also will vary that is theta 1 and theta 2 and using the triangles you can equate those values that is if you consider this triangle that is with the delta and this triangle this with the delta you will get l by 3 theta 1 equal to 2 l by 3 theta 2 and if you equate you will get theta 1 equal to 2 theta 2 finally you will get the value then you can easily calculate the internal work done that is 2 mp multiplied by theta 1 here there will be a theta 1 and here theta 2 so 2 mp multiplied by theta 1 plus theta 2 and the last value mp multiplied by theta 2 and then you need to substitute the value of theta 1 with the 2 theta 2 and if you substitute finally get the internal work done with the value of 11 mp theta 2 then the external work done you can calculate by the load w that is collapse load wc multiplied by delta then if you substitute the value for this delta with the theta 2 if you take this triangle why we are taking this triangle since here already we have mentioned the theta 2 value so that's why we are taking this triangle so the delta value is going to be if you take the value that is theta 2 equal to opposite side that is delta then adjacent side 12 by 3 and if you multiply these values as you will get delta value as 12 by 3 theta 2 then if you equate you finally get the value as wc equal to 16.5 mp by l so that's the first case or first mechanism and the second mechanism we provide the plastic hinge at two fix at two fixed supports and also at the position where the plastic moment is going to be changed or at the mid span okay so at this point we are providing the plastic hinge and then we consider how the variation will occur so that's the case and if you consider that diagram so here you can observe that at the support a it is going to be 2 mp and at the point where it is changing the sign so let us check out the first half it is 2 mp and the second half it is mp so while taking this case you need to take the smaller value that is mp in this case okay so when a case occurring in this way that is changing of 2 mp to mp or mp to 2 mp anyway you have to take the smaller value that is in this case it is mp so that's why it is mentioned mp here and here also it is mp and you can watch out that this theta 1 it is going to be in the both case if you observe here theta 1 and here theta 2 let us take theta 1 and theta 2 since in this case it is going to be l by 2 and l by 2 if you are taking this value it is delta then obviously theta 1 equal to theta 2 equal to you can write down easily theta then the displacement under the load let us take that value as delta 1 and if you consider this small triangle and this bigger triangle then you will get delta 1 equal to 2 by 3 delta that's equation and if you substitute the value for this delta with the theta value that is you will finally get l by 3 theta and the internal work done you can easily calculate that is 2 mp theta then here 2 theta will be here so mp multiply 2 theta then mp theta you will finally get 5 mp theta then the external work done under the load 
W. Okay, so W multi WC multiplied by delta 1. And there also you will get this delta value delta 1 value as L by 3 theta. Okay, for that you have to consider this triangle, this small triangle. So if you consider those values L by 3 theta. And if you equate those values, you finally get a WC collapse load value as 15 MP by L. Okay. So in this case, the two values are going to be different. The previous problem, both the values are same or the both the mechanism occurs same time. So in this case, the first mechanism you got a value of 16.5 MP by L. So in, the, in such cases, you need to take the minimum value. So in this case, the minimum value for this collapse load, it is going to be 15 MP by L. So the final answer for this collapse lot or for this particular question is 15 MP by L. Okay, you need to take the smaller value in such in such cases. Okay. So I hope the section is clear and with this wind up today's section. Thank you.